on this episode of The Snake Pit. This intrepid inventor is about to get wet and wireless and is hoping to get these captains of industry on board. You again? Nikola Tesla sleeps only two hours a night and claims his inventions come to him in visions of flashing lights. My name is Nikola Tesla. We know. And I am here to ask for 100,000 American dollars and a Nobel Prize for my new invention. You know, we, we, we can't give you a Nobel Prize. You, you know that, right? I want you to imagine a world where electricity is no longer confined by copper wiring, where power and information is transmitted wirelessly around the Earth. Pictures and sound could be telegraphed anywhere and everywhere, so you might see and talk to people on the other side of the world. Oh my, you invented something like that? Well, I was just about to crack the code when my lab burned down and all my research was lost. <coughs> but I can demonstrate the theory behind the technology with my new invention. The Telotomaton! That name sucks! Ha! Radio signals are broadcast wirelessly from this control station and are received by the antenna on the boat. The boat is powered by an onboard battery and two distinct radio signals are used to control the rudder and the propeller. This is just a cheap parlor trick. I saw P.T. Barnum do the same thing with a trained monkey 15 years ago. Uh, I assure you there is no monkey inside, uh, only radio transmission receivers. I can even make it turn right or turn left. Boat, turn Tesla's crappy career around. Ha! How is this toy supposed to make a profit? Well, this technology could be used for all kinds of purposes. Mr. Westinghouse, you're a naval man. Imagine a radio-controlled torpedo that would never miss an enemy target. And not just torpedoes, either. All kinds of objects could be controlled wirelessly. Cars, aeroplanes, one operator or several operators could control an entire fleet of automatons. Why? There may even come a time in the future where mechanical men could do all the laborious work of the human race. Creating a new race of mechanical men sounds like it would cost more money than it's worth. Why, you'd have to feed them and house them, pay them wages? I'm out. Well, they wouldn't require food or housing. I'm not in the business of wizardry. I'll leave that to Mr. Houdini, thank you. I'm out too. Nicola, it sounds to me like you're a few pigeons short of a flock. We're out. Hmm, perhaps he was controlling it with his mind. No, no, it must have been a series of interconnected tubes. Next up on The Snake Pit is the young, handsome, and rich Italian inventor, Guglielmo Marconi. It's at the radio. Genius! I love it! Give this man a Nobel Prize! Oh. 